We're going to go through the product and how it works. First off, this chassis here is our ZK chassis. It's been through many versions. It's upgraded over the years. It's one of our most tried and true high production platforms. And it's ideal for autonomous mowing because it's compact. Um, and it, you know, there's not a lot hanging off the back of the machine. It allows us to get our sensor tower up here. And it looks just like a regular machine. Better 90% of this machine is identical to a standard ZK. There's a couple things that make it different. Uh, for example, it has a bigger battery here and a larger charging system with this EFI engine to help support the cameras and the computer and that kind of thing, but it's nothing you have to charge. Also, the machine comes with a mulch kit on it. That's just better for the autonomous mowing, especially when we get into the perimeter areas, whether going clockwise or counterclockwise. So it's a mulching only type machine. We also offer it in 72 and 61 inch decks and the 72 inch option, you can get the dually tire setup on it, which helps if you reduce the air pressure on those tires, it helps you get a more level cut in open areas. and gives you a little more traction if you're turning on rolling terrain. Now coming around the back here, you can see that we have a little bit different drive system. So we have um, hydrostatic pumps like a regular ZK would, um, but there's these actuators made by Hydrogear on them, which gives us a drive by wire system with the hand controls here. And that allows the machine to uh, operate manually when we go into the autonomous mode then the computer can take control over the machine. So CBQ, you want to pick up there. So when we go into uh, autonomous mode, what happens here? So the software takes over. It is running on a rugged, fanless, vibration and temperature rated computer that we've been working on for a long time to make dealer serviceable. Those talk to the sensors and cameras that we talked about in the sensor tower. It's got four uh, depth sensing cameras that can see in the dark in infrared, Intel, outdoor rated as well as a GNSS uh, RTK level system with centimeter level accuracy, does not require a base station or anything as long as it has a line of sight to the sky and a big acres to mow. The way to think about this is a robotic worker and the software works in conjunction, almost like cruise control, uh, to enable this mower to take over and do part of the job. Uh, the other thing it enables is a uh, is this a military grade uh, remote e-stop that enables the operator at all times to have control and maintain control over the system. They can wear this while they do other work as this stop as well as remote control and other uh, functionality to restart and resume and pause the mower during operation. So I'm going to walk you through just basically how you get started with the machine. First off, there's a barcode here, and when you scan that barcode, you can log into the machine using a web app that gives you some additional functionality. You don't need to use the web app in order to use the machine. It's as simple as pressing this map button when you mow your second or third perimeter pass. And when you get back to your start point, near your start point, light goes solid, confirming you that you have a map ready. And the default is the stripes are gonna go in the longest direction with the least amount of turns. And you can change all that within the app. Then when you get to that that map you've set up, you put it into auto mode and you press mow in the remote. You wanna talk about some of the additional functionality? Sure. So the software, as uh, Ed mentioned, defaults to the most productive use to make your landscaper crew more efficient. But when you wanna dial in and advance customization, once you've recorded that map the first time, the next time your crew brings it out, they can simply load that job and hit go, which enables them to go do pipelining of other activity, which is the name of the game. When they load that map, they can set three things. They can set this stripe angle, like you mentioned, the default is the longest, but they can set it if you wanna make it so it's uh, sort of a double cut one time. You could save those jobs. You can also set the stripe overlap if you're on like an athletic field and you want a tighter overlap, you can do that. Uh, and you can also set the speed, uh, all those things. If it counters any obstacle in the path uh, that you've uh, done, it'll go around it. And you can also mark those obstacles as keep out zones. So if there's a sewer grate or something you don't want the mower to go to, it's very easy to use the app. You simply press a button, mow around that obstacle and it'll never go into that area and it'll save that. So it really becomes an experienced uh, worker. Um, and, and again, like I said, Ed said, the name of the game is labor productivity. That's right. So you could set up a whole campus where all the stripes in every different area are all going in the exact same direction. That is correct. And in fact, it does so straight, especially with the keep out zones, that it can line up those stripes just on the other side and it looks fantastic. It is. It, it creates some capability that was never possible before, before uh, autonomous mowing. So can you walk me through some of the properties that are more ideal for this machine and then down to properties that are trickier, but you can still do them? Ideal properties include open acreage, uh, obviously, so industrial, um, office parks, um, athletic fields, uh, schools, parks, uh, any large uh, sort of 
common area. Now you can do almost any size map. You could do 10 by 10. Uh, it's probably not going to give you the productivity uh, to be able to do other things while the mower is mowing. The name of the game is to set up the mower in the biggest open area uh, and then get on another piece of equipment, edge or trimmer, or even another mower and do that work. Uh, ideal sites also talk about slopes. Now the mower is rated. You can also jump on it in manual mode and do slopes that the ZK is known for, especially with those dualies. So that's a perfectly fine mower. For autonomous, we, we tell you not to put a turns on the slope because the mower is unaware. It may turn down the hill, as well as mowing slopes. If the mower ever has to stop or uh, pause for a minute, it may slide down that hill. So I would uh, encourage people not to do that, but rolling gentle hills. You're not gonna totally mow the side of a dam with this machine, but your regular rolling terrain and, and totally slopes fine. and whatnot, it, work, it works fine. And you, you dial in where those turns sit to make it the best of it. Totally right? fine. Now, Ed, tell us a little bit about the dealer serviceability. Yeah, so this machine that's serviced like any other mower, you buy it through right dealer, everything's serviced through the dealer, one-stop shop, whether it's the computer or the chassis, um, it's the same experience across the board. Um, you can, when you scan the barcode there, you have a helpline with Green Z. You want to talk a little bit about the helpline? Sure, it's English, Spanish, and it's staffed 7A to 7P uh, during the times that you work. Our goal is to get you back autonomous mowing, and if we can't, we'll direct you to the dealer where a dealer's stock have stocking parts that we've found. Uh, you know, these have been sheared off before. It's okay. These are, are not bad. Just don't lose this. Uh, this one's kind of expensive. Uh, but uh, you, it will make you t your crews more productive, and uh, we're, our goal is to get you back. For our, also our larger fleet landscapers like yourself, we also have a loaner program that's subject to availability and locations, but our goal is to keep you up and running and give you another robotic worker that can do the job. We're not early in this process. We've been running these machines for a number of years, so we have a good sense of the reliability of the machine and the top parts, and um, even from the early machines, there's a ton of improvements that are here. So it's a, it's a pretty well-proven platform. Um, if you're interested in this machine, reach out to us. We'd love to work with you on understanding the job sites that you're looking at, and if this is the right machine for you,